Hi, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Usually when we build Power Apps Canvas, we want the user to be notified, huh? either when they do something or maybe when they are doing something and they are canceling it. So we want the user to know that something has happened or something going to happen if you push that button. And we usually do that with notifications. Notifications can be shown in different ways. One way that I want to show you today is by using pop-ups. So let's take a look how we can utilize pop-ups in Power Apps Canvas for the user to get some information that we want to share with them during their uh, user experience in the application. So as you can see here, I have my uh, default SharePoint list or one default SharePoint list I've created with some columns. And what I did is I went here to integrate and I created an application. To shorten this video, I have already done that and we can see here this uh, standard application that is being created after going over that way. And we have here on the left hand side three screens, which is uh, the browse screen, the detail screen and the edit screen. Currently I'm in the browse screen where I can go into these uh, yeah, already created items and uh, edit them or view them. What I want to show you is when we create a new item. In this case, I only have these three um, columns here, or three fields, but imagine having um, much, much more than that and having multiple screens and so on and so forth. And um, at the last screen, the user is going to save the information and um, yeah, they want to see what information they have populated, like a summary or something like that. And how we can do that, we can see now. So before you're doing that, since that is the last part, I want to make sure that the user is being uh, notified when they uh, have started populating the information and they click on cancel so that uh, they know that they were going to lose their information that have uh, populated. So we have this cancel uh, button here which says reset form and then they go back. So what I want to do here is before the reset form, I'm going to hide and show, or I show and hide uh, a pop-up, and to show to tell the user that they are going to lose their information that they have inputted. So, how to do that? First, I'm going to go to Insert, and I'm going to choose a shape. This is going to be a rectangle shape, and I'm going to place it on the left top corner or the right top corner doesn't matter, and I'm going to push it to the whole screen size. So. This is now covering my whole screen. Mm -hmm. Next, I want to put some text labels. First one over here, I'm going to make it semi-bold and I'm going to put an alignment in the middle and I'm going to write um, entered is going to be lost, something like that. I mean, it doesn't matter. Uh, you can think about the text you want to show there. It's just for the display purposes now. And I'm going to make it white so it uh, looks a bit better in this background. Okay, so what we need next is um, or are two buttons. So let's put them somehow in the middle. And this one will be yes and here no. And I'm going to make this green. Again, the design is not the best one now, but we are focusing on the functionality. So yes and no, right? So by clicking yes and by clicking also, no, now we have this button, button no, and we have this button yes. And we also have this label uh, info. So what I'm going to do next, which is important to make it also easier, is I'm going to select or click uh, control or hold control, and I'm going to select all these components that, that, that I just created. Right clicking, I can group them, and this will be my group underscore pop up. Okay, so this group now has one visible, visible property for all the items that it's in this that are, that are in this group, right? So I'm going to turn them off now so that I can see again. And this button here, as we said, it has reset form and back. So this option here, or this, uh, uh, yeah, what it does, is going to go away from there. And I'm going to select my group pop up again, make it visible on, and I'm putting all that. Um, line 
into the yes button because when the user clicks yes then they are going to be brought uh, back and the form will be resetted so let me make this invisible again but this button needs to do something else and it needs to set my var pop-up to true so we have now a new variable and by clicking it let's take a look this variable has now the value true so this value we're going to use in the visible property so instead of telling if uh, it's false or true we're going to say var pop-up mm -hmm. so since the value of the var pop-up is now true this visible uh, property is also true and that's how we are seeing the pop-up but we also want to be able to say also no so this one will set the var pop-up to false so if you see here we can click there no and then that sets the variable into true or false and then displays the uh, pop-up and this is how you can then display the pop-up and let's see how it works if you say uh, here school name test school city is uh, Düsseldorf number of students blah blah doesn't matter and if I say cancel that and it's telling me are you sure you want to cancel information you enter is going to be lost I'm going to say yes and that will bring me back to my um, gallery where I have all the schools and if I go back now the variable is still true right so this is the first thing I'm going to see so what I want to do is when I go here I want to make sure that the var uh, pop-up is set to uh, false I can do that also at the beginning just to be sure that it's the first thing that happens and um, this way when I select uh, create new item I will always see the edit form and not the pop-up again let's test that I'm going to say uh, yes plus it's back to false right okay and that is how you can um, notify the user that their information is going to be lost and are you sure that you want to cancel editing this data so let's see the other part now so how can we create like a short summary in a pop-up screen of the information that the user has already inserted and ask them if they are sure that they want to uh, save this information very similar i'm going to create a new pop-up and to make this a little bit faster i'm going to copy and paste this pop-up that i already created and we have here group pop-up um, let's call this summary and this visible here has its var pop-up again so let's say true and we see this again so let's change this a little bit i don't want to have them up over there i want to have them at the bottom since i need to show the information here the summary and i'm not going to say this in from this text so i'm going to say um i actually want to save below you can check if the information is complete and as needed something like that and now we need to display the information here so before doing that let me hide this pop-up again and i want this information to be passed into uh, this pop-up so i don't want to go and uh, look for this data card value 4 and data card value 5 and data card i don't know so i want to make it a bit easier so what i am going to do is i'm going to utilize this check uh, icon uh, button here so what this button does is it says submit form and this, this is going to go away and this is going to be brought into my group pop-up summary yes button and i want it to be in front of my back um, here function so after saving i want to go back and by saying no i want to um, set the var pop up false that's true but we're going to create a new variable for this uh, var pop up 
So before doing that, let's make this invisible again, because this button needs now to do something. And what it's going to do is it's going to first create a new variable set var pop up summary to true. And after that, maybe before that, I want it to say set var item um, set var item comma and then we're going to uh, see how this form is called it's called edit form one dot updates and then it's going to put the set var pop-up summary to true so let me copy that and for now we can see that this item is blank and this one is also blank right so if I select okay this one is now true and this item has the name of the columns but the values are empty of course huh? so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in some information so test school city Düsseldorf Dorf and number students five nine five nine six something like that so if I click now save nothing has happened yet but in the background we can see that this item has now these three columns and these three values and we also have here the var pop-up summary which is still true right and I want it to be also the visible property of my group pop-up summary so now we can see the pop-up also. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to use a text label. Let's make this a little bit smaller and a little bit slimmer here. So this one is going to be copied three times since we have three columns. No, you need to do this uh, for as many columns and fields you have. And let's paste this three more times for the display information for the values. Because on the left hand side, I want the name of the columns, and on the right hand side, I want the values of these fields. I should have uh, made this text white before copying, but it doesn't matter now. We can do it like that. Okay, so here we can say um, var item dot city mm -hmm. and this one is going to have a static value which is city so next will be var item that uh, what has we got there city I think it was title the next one I think I switched the places there but it doesn't matter and the last one was I think number of students no city var item number of students this is uh, it's called title but actually on my SharePoint list is the school name so let's rename this to school name and this will be our number of students okay and we need to do something else this labels here that we created let me copy this name. These labels that we created need to be grouped with this pop-up together. So this needs to be um, grouped together. What I really don't like when you um, do this kind of grouping, I mean, when you already have a group and then you want to put some elements into that group, is that um, when I group them, the name is gone. Right? It's called group two now. So that's why I copied the name of the group that I had so that I don't have to write it again. I wish that we had a way to add uh, components and controls into an already existing group. Maybe that's something that's coming in the future with the next update. Okay, so now we have um, the summary. And this var pop-up is a little wrong because we need the var pop-up summary. And if I say no here, I want to go back to this uh, view. So I see that I forgot a label. Let's take a look.
If I say no, which label is this one? This has a true visible, okay. Oh, I think the, yeah, I think the problem is that it did not inherit the um, var pop-up summary visible value. So now if I go there, I see all the summary and my buttons, I say no, and the pop-up and the summary is now gone. So if I say here, that one, I want to go say no, I'm back here, the information is still there. I'm going to say X again, or cancel, I'm going to say yes, and then I'm going back to my uh, yeah, gallery and the information is deleted. So let's try to create a new item again, test school city Dusseldorf, number of students, random number. I'm going to say save, I'm sure you want to save, and now I can see the summary. No, you see that it changes, and I'm going to say yes. Let's see if my yes button has also the right code. Okay, that looks good. And if I say yes, now I'm going to um, test school. Oh, I'm going to my gallery and I can see here test school. But if you uh, uh, paid attention, you will know that if I now click create new item, I'm going to still see, be seeing my uh, second pop-up. So what I want to do is I'm going to say no, cancel, yes, and in my plus here, I want to say set bar pop up summary pop up summary to um, false format text and now I'm sure that when I go create a new item I'm going to see a clean new edit form without any pop-ups displaying anything and um, actually we also have that bar item let me search for it item and it still has some information here as you can see the item is still filled out with the last item but um, we shouldn't care actually because if I click here it's empty and if I start writing anything it will rewrite the item what you could do if you want to have it clean you can uh, do here on the plus icon and say set the item to a uh, blank or something like that uh, so that it, it's emptied before going into the new item. But as I said, it shouldn't bother. Yeah, and um, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. Um, I think pop-ups and this kind of notifications and summaries and so on and so forth can um, be very helpful so that the user um, is always informed what this button is going to do next. So this can help the user to have a better user experience and uh, like the application even more. I hope you liked it. If you did so, please make sure to give a thumbs up on the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, and um, thank you for watching. See you on the next video. Cheers, bye.